according to his abundant mercy, has begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the grave, to an inheritance that is incorruptible, undefiled, and that fades not away, reserved in heaven for us who are kept by the power of God, through faith, unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last day. And in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, the apostle Paul records for us some good words that I think are a good reminder for us as we come together this afternoon. There he writes, I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that you sorrow not, even as others who have no hope. For if we believe that Christ Jesus died and rose again, even so them also who sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. Indeed, our Lord has declared, I am the resurrection and the life, saith the Lord. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. Whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Indeed, we have come together today to celebrate the homegoing, to celebrate the victory, to celebrate the final crown being awarded to our dear brother departed, William Whitesides, Bill. And so it is that we come together on Bill's account this second time as we recall our reason now for laying claim to the sure and certain hope of the resurrection. Indeed, that's why we're here. To once again refresh ourselves in the mighty, eternal promises of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Oh God of grace, we come to you today, though it's with human sadness mixed with joy, to once again recall your grace, to recall your love, to recall the purchase of blood that was made for us, that we might come to such times as this, not as those who have no hope, but as those who have strong hope that makes not a shame. For those who have a strong hope, that will never be taken away because we know we are kept by your mighty hand. So Lord, we pray that during this time together you would speak to us of eternal things that we might know as the psalmist did that though weeping may endure for a night, it is your joy that comes in the morning light because of the sure and certain hope of the resurrection, because of the virtues that was made for us by our brother in the faith, even Jesus Christ. And we pray then that you would surround us with your perfect peace that passes all understanding, that you would grant us that joy unspeakable and full of glory, for we are coming now in the strong name of Christ Jesus the risen. Amen. Kevin. You who dwell in the shelter of the Lord, who abide in his shadow for life. Say to the Lord, my refuge, my rock in whom I trust, and he will raise you up on eagle's wings, bear you on the breath of dawn, make you to shine like the sun and hold you in the palm of his hand. The snare of the fowler will never capture you and famine will bring you no fear. Under his wings your red his faithfulness, your shield. You need not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day. The thousands fall about you, near you it shall not come, and he will raise you up. On eagle's wings, bear you on the breath of dawn, make you to shine like the sun, and hold you in the palm of his
his hand. For to his angels he's given a command to guard you in all of your ways. Upon their hands they will bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. And he will raise you up on eagles' wings. There you on the breath of dawn make you to shine like the sun and hold you in the palm of his hand. Preparing for this day. Beth and Beverly both had something to say. Did y'all want to read these or do you want me to? Okay. <laughs> All right. A couple of thoughts as we gather today. Beth says, I enjoyed his being my brother. He always looked forward to coming home from college. He was very smart. Beverly says, he, Bill was a very talented singer who shared his gift of singing at weddings, funerals, concerts, and other events. He was head of the library in his community. He was very well admired and respected. Bill was an intelligent, skilled, and loving brother whom we all miss. Did anybody else want to share anything? Well, I don't have anything planned particularly, but uh, I want to add to the fact that it's a homecoming. Just want to say, I know he, he, he was just such a great father to so many, <laughs> and a grandfather. And I know he loved everyone here, and I'm just glad you all could be here for this. And, uh, come down to this. Anyone else? If not, I'd like to turn our attention to our scripture lesson for the day, the Old Testament lesson kind of cues in on that concept of being on Jesus' wings. As we read this passage, I'm sure you will hear it once again. But our first passage comes to us from uh, Isaiah chapter 40, 